Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, I just wanted to do like a nice summer look with you guys. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It would give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between one and two-ish. So yeah, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, girl, it is getting warm out. It is getting super de duper warm out. I'm so excited. Looky, I'm a summery kind of girl. I'm a, although I do like fall too, because I like when it gets nice and cool and crisp out. Not a fan of winter, but anywho, we are doing a summer look. So I am loving this e.l.f. Sun Touchable Wow Glow SPF 30 um, Sun Protection Plus Makeup Primer. So so freaking nice. I'm looking for like a nice summery glow. Uh, I'm going to put that much on. Oof, this is so beautiful and glowy and delish. My skin is looking particularly good today. Really, really pretty. You know what? I'm going to stop right there because I think I want to do the eyes first. So here's the thing. Um, I grabbed the Natasha Denona. This is the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I mean, it is so pretty. I love these greens and pinks together. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful um, color scheme. Love the pinks, love the greens. But then, girl, then, God, I haven't grabbed this in forever. This is the Tarte Tartlet Eyeshadow Palette. I can't, I can't stand the smell. You know, I do not like any smells on my face. This is, like, it's got that chunk. <laughs> Got that chocolate scent. I have an old Tarte from 1912, girl, that I still use. I'm not going to lie. I still use it. Um, it still has that chocolatey smell in there. Girl, I don't know what the hell kind of concoction you could possibly put in here that could smell three, four, five years later. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll do a mixer Let's see here. Yeah, let's do a mixer because this palette over here, the Natasha Denona, I would say Faye and Lucy are probably the two transition colors obviously in here and these have like a world of you know what stop it girl we'll do this for another time don't be such a wimp let's go in i changed my mind we're gonna dive into this one right over here i'm gonna go in with lucy i'm gonna go in with lucy all over the lid love that this has a mirror um yeah so this is a beautiful i almost if you guys don't have natasha denona palettes these are reasonable. I believe they're $69 now. Try the mini, like the mini, like little four quad, I think. Four, I think there's five of them. Her formula is so stinking good. I know that the, um, the Yucca palette just came out. Um, I am being gifted that soon. So uh, thank you very much. I so appreciate you. But um, I'm dying to get my hands on it. To me personally, it looks like a fallish kind of um, color scheme, but I can't wait to get my hands on it because, you know, like in person, they always seem like a little bit different, a little bit more vibrant. Okay, that is beautiful. I know it's only one color. Girl, what the hell are you saying that's beautiful? It is. It is of a neutral dream come true kind of girl. It is. I'm going to just darken up my crease with Faye. Oh, Faye, just right over here. Oh, that's so friggin' pretty. Yeah, you know what? I think I am going to go back to, to the other palette because other than those two colors, all the other colors that I want to uh, build on the outer edge, they're all shimmers, and I don't really like to do shimmers there. So I take it all back. We're going to go into Tartlet too. I'm going to go in with Grounded right here just to deepen up the outer edge as I'm holding my breath. That's pretty. I'm going to go in. I think I want to go in with this color over here. It's called Rose. Just to give it a little zhuzh because after all, this is a summery look, and I don't want to... There you go. That's pretty. I don't want it to be so neutral, girl. Now let's go back in to the retro palette, because I really, really want to... I love these greens. I'm going to go with sage. I'm going to go with sage. I'm going to take the same um, brush. I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put this in my crease. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Ooh, that's so, so pretty. Very, very pretty. And then I'm going to take a smaller um, brush. This is the BK Beauty 211. I think I want to put like this shimmer here, Oz. I'm going to put this right over here just to give it a little bit of 
shimmery shim shim okay so i'm gonna put that right over here just to darken it up oh i love this green and i love this shimmer it's so pretty i'm gonna take this color right over here called flutter and i'm gonna take it with my finger i'm a little flustered oh that's super pretty super -de duper because I just came back after two hours. While I was filming, of course, my housekeepers came, so I had to stop that. And then my um, my husband was having a little bit of minor surgery, so I had to go back and pick him up. I made him lunch. I made myself lunch. And um, yeah, so here we are. That is so pretty. I think I want to have a little bit more of opacity on the moving lid because I really love that flutter is more like glitter but not like glitter glitter but it's you know it doesn't really have a lot of opacity underneath it so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color right over here wishful and I'm going to take a flatter brush this BK Beauty this is the 206 and let's see because I want to yeah you see, how, you see how different that makes it look? Ooh, this is so pretty. And then I'm gonna go back and put that flutter up on top. Do you guys have any summer plans? We're just gonna kind of wing it this summer. Because, let's see, that's really pretty. I'm gonna just go back in with the smaller brush because I just want to, let's see, what color? Maybe I'll do evergreen want to darken this up just a tiny bit this is so freaking pretty now is it even who the hell knows it looks it to me okay let me go back in with my original brush and with nothing on it and I just want to go right over here in circular motions just to blend everything in am I done mm -hmm. yeah okay I'm gonna be crazy did you guys watch my video when I tested out this was the Jane Ardell hydro pure tint serum i really wasn't a fan um but i'm gonna do it again we're gonna try it again because i really wanted to keep it light it's a nice summer look but i thought this would be super duper nice like underneath and i was just gonna throw a little bit of the beauty blender bounce foundation up on top but a tiny tiny bit because i know this is like legit girl it's a tinted serum it's not even a tinted moisturizer it's just a serum so I'm gonna just do sounds like it comes out like a foam look at that but it really looks pretty on though I really wasn't a fan when I tried it cuz I'm like what the hell is this but then when it seeped in girl it's a serum be patient for the love of the Lord be patient it really made my skin so beautiful and it evened out like my complexion Ooh, that is so pretty isn't it weird how like your tastes change even like in a matter like of months i think i tried this out like a month ago and i was like what the hell that is super pretty i'm peeling a little bit over here oh uh, can you hear my boyfriend crying he wants to come in that's really pretty gonna go in lightly lightly this is in two 2.50 medium nude neutral and I think this is a squeezy bottle right yeah a tiny bit you guys leave me some comments below and I'm gonna put like that much nothing earth shattering you guys leave me comments below what is your favorite season and why I'm curious I'm so curious I am um, damn it looks so good I have to stop forgetting my neck I'm gonna just take my beauty blender it's already dampened um yeah and then tell me why do you like it this is so pretty this is perfect i'm gonna just take the rest of it and just go right onto my cheeks i just saw something on tiktok about the eyebrows with this thicket stick it what color is this she said oh my god this is it oh there's my boyfriend what's the matter about bachelu bachi Who's trying to kill us? What? Anyway, 
she did a um damn am i gonna mess up my makeup who cares we could always wash it off if i find the tiktok i will leave it below but i was like girl i have that color and i have this and um yeah we're gonna try it but anyway this looks perfect amendo anyway so that is it while we're here let's just throw on some concealer i am using the nyx bear with me concealer serum this was in one of my um, top concealers for mature skin. I'll leave that linked below. So, so good. I want to keep everything luminous. It is summer after all. Girl, there's a fine line between, girl, you're sweating bullets and a glow. You know what I mean? So, obviously, if you have oily skin, you have to be careful with, like, the luminosity in the summertime. But my skin is a little bit on the drier side it's not dry yeah but a little bit on the drier side oh i did not bring my favorite whatchamacallit so i usually go in with the uh, elf camo sponge but dry but i didn't bring it so i'm just gonna go in with first of all i just can't with him my boyfriend and second of all look at this freaking under eye so beautiful mm, that is gorgeous, right bachi what do you think Bachelor, what do you think of mommy's makeup? You like it? Oh, I love you. All right, cool. I'm going to go in. When I think of luminosity, I think of this beautiful deliciousness by Ma uh, by Mario. It's his um, soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer. I don't know. I mean, let me open it for you. Let me show it to you. Why? I look at that. Look, I just... I just love this product. When I think of like summertime, like a luminous glow, that's what I think of. I think about, I think about this beautiful product. I'm gonna go in with the butt of my sponge. I, mm, I always love to go in with cream. Look at that. Oof. With cream products, with the butt of my sponge. Isn't that beautiful? Make sure I rub it in underneath my neck. That is so gorgeous. And then on top of that, see here's see here's my dilemma. I have a cream blush, but I also have a powder bronzer. Do I put the bronzer on first and then the blush? Frig it, let's just do it. I th this is a hunk of bunk of brokenness, but I adore it. This is hold on, let me put it together. This is the Catrice um this is the Catrice, what the hell is it? This is the Catrice Bronzer in Sun-Kissed Bronze. I love it because, I don't know if you could see it. First of all, I love the marbleization of it. But do you see it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it? I freaking love this. I love this. I'm going to so I'm gonna take my little filthy ass bronzing brush. And I think I'm going to just start patting first before i swirly swirl swirl i love this product i think i can only find it on amazon lord and i hope they still have it because i have been using some products it was even in one of my favorites that are no longer available or they're out of stock they don't know when it's going to come in i'm like shit but I have it in my favorites, or I have it in this video, or I used it in that. Because you know, every time I use stuff, girl, you know I will leave a link below. But I want you guys, obviously, to be able to get it if you're interested in it. So let's pray, shall we? Let's pray that this is available. Man, look at that. That is so pretty, right? Love it. Mm, I love this dog on bronzer. Let's pray it's still there. Love. This is the Natasha Denona. This is my dream cheek trio, the blush and highlighter. I love this blush. You know, I have been speaking about this blush multiple times. Something about it. It is so pretty. It is a cream blush, but it feels like powder. It's so nice. I'm going to take it again with the back of my sponge. Just let me tap it a little bit. Yeah, like what the heck? It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Damn, I wish we were going out. I wish we were going out for, like, for cocktails. I love, like, I'm a sucker for anything shimmery, glittery. 
um, I love fireworks I adore like like those hanging lights at night like that's you're having dinner or they're like in the trees or you have like a fire pit with all those like I'm a sucker invite me over I'm gonna come I am a sucker that's so pretty mm -hmm. yes ma'am yes ma'am we're gonna go in we're gonna go in with the elf halo glow beauty wand highlighters and this one is in champagne uh girl you know how i feel about liquid highlighters i i just it's not the product because i love them i just don't know how to use it so but again i'm gonna just take my filth i'm gonna take leave me comments below again what do you guys use for cream products like i love to use a dampen sponge but i have a bajillion um brushes like what do you guys use let me know so i'm gonna just and these dry super fast like i watch other people's people's other people's videos and but do you see how like you could see the line either that or 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 picked it up do you see that so that's why i'm very tricky trick trick with liquid um with liquid products especially like highlighters you know i think i'm gonna do maybe i'll put it on my hand over here like that you see that and then pick it up from here let's try that and see how that yeah see that works so much better you see that like here i feel like i could see that freaking line like i almost feel like borderline it picked up the rest of my stuff no ma'am we're not doing that okay this is so pretty okay i may be too shiny for you but not for me girl and then i'm gonna go even more crazy and on top of that i'm gonna put on the jack and hill loose highlighter and extra girl this is so friggin blinding but it's summertime it's summertime and we're gonna have that nice summertime glow actually while i'm here let's some let's put some in the inner corner i love this i mean look at that it is so pretty that is gorgeous you know what that could have been even a beautiful topper think about it let me think about it so let's just put the rest of it on top of the elf highlighter look at that that is so pretty i'm loving that i am so so loving that forget let's do it while i have it i'm taking that much and i did i just tapped lightly and maybe i'll just put it right in the middle yeah let's do that Ooh, look at that that is so pretty let's just finish the under eyes let's just finish the under eyes do i want to put green underneath i think i do i think i do i'm gonna take this um hmm i think i'm doing a mixture i think i'm gonna take this jazzy over here jazzy and then top it off with oz because i love the green but what i want to do is i'll take the same brush as i did um with my highlighter and let me just take a little bit of powder this is the charlotte tilbury brightening powder girl the tiniest bit that's it yep that's it oh that's so pretty damn i may ruin my eyebrows but i really want to try this um before we do that girl you know the usual makeup forever aqua resist pencil and ebony let me just tight line real quick Ooh, that is so freaking pretty um yeah so anyway so i may ruin the look but who cares it's just makeup so this girl on tiktok damn i hope i you know what i may have even um saved it i'm not sure but she used the nyx thick it stick it in espresso and she said um if you have like sparse eyebrows which i don't to push them up it's gonna look ugly to push them up and then she said and then she does it twice and before it dries down take your wipe and then just wipe them into shape let's just try it let's just make up let's just try it
Okay, I just grabbed this little spoolie. Oh, hell, she's not playing. Mm-hmm. So it is a little bit messy, but that's okay. So before it, it dries, before it dries, put it into place. So, okay. Okay, I'm not sure I like it, but we already did it. So let me go back in and just fix my little eyeshadow. I'm not sure if I like it. Cause you know, girl, I'm not an eyebrow -y kind of girl, but. Let's try on this eye because this one's always my troublesome. I do like it though. I love that it's got all the fibers on it. Let's try it on this one. That's not bad. That's not bad, but I will tell you, um, I think it would be in our best interest to do the eyebrows first because I really like the way my eye makeup came out and then I kind of, I kind of janked them up. Okay, this eyebrow looks a little bit higher than this one. So what we're gonna do over there is we're just gonna pencil in with the e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow uh, Pencil that I really, really love. It's very waxy in my opinion, but I like that look. And that's what I normally do like right over here. I kind of just like pencil it in just to give myself a, like an arch on that side because the arch is really more prominent on this eye. Eyebrows are not my forte. Are the eyes done? Damn, they look so good. I like kind of like that smudgy like um, your under eye is all messy kind of look like you got shimmery little specks under your eyes. I know I did that on purpose. I really like it. I really, really like it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to just put some mascara on to finish the eyes. And did I bring the mascara? Okay, so I don't think I'm going to put mascara on my lower lashes. I'm thinking I really like um, this look without mascara on underneath. What do you guys think? As a matter of fact, I'm going to just throw in, in my waterline. I've been loving like the Give um, um, Line It Up 24-Hour Gel Liner. This was in one of my favorites. You know, I normally don't um, put anything dark in my waterline. It's a shimmer, so but I think I may like that. That looks so pretty. I love these eyeliners. I need to sharpen that one. Okay, let me just look before we do the lip smacking together. This looks so pretty. I think I'm gonna just put a little bit more blush, just like right on the apples. I love doing that. Just right here. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Just right here on the tip of the nose. Okay, I think it looks so pretty. Let me just take off my lipstick. I just have a little bit of lip balm on. I actually am wearing the Tarte. This is the Tarte Maracuja Lip, Juicy Lip in um, Orchid. We may just put that on. What I want to do is I just want to, again, keep this very summery. So what I think I'm going to do is I want to line my lips with my absolute favorite. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Oh Snap. Adore it. I want to um, line them, fill them up. And I do have the, um, the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip. Or we could put this on. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. That's beautiful. Hold on, let me just bring down my hairdo. Just bring down my hairdo. 
that is so pretty hold up now yeah okay this is exactly what i was looking for for a nice summer look something glistening not too dark not too light just a nice summer look where everything is shimmery and glimmery and glowy i think it looks so pretty what do you guys think oh my god everything looks so good hold on one more time yeah yep this is exactly what i was thinking about so anyway so this oh hold up you can't forget this you have to put on the elf stay all night blue light micro setting mist girl it is not gonna budge this is so so good i did a dupes video on this i think you guys can guess what i duped this for Ooh, everything looks so good i'm loving these eyes that is so beautiful and these lips are perfect so anyway guys so this is it this is my video on a summer look what do you guys think leave me some comments below thank you so so much for sharing your time with me and as always you guys be good to each other love each other and have a great great day bye